Aaron, first impressions of the track? Uh, it's good. I like it. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks fun. It looks rocky and a lot of little lines and stuff, which I like. And, uh, and something new, so it's always fun to learn a new track. So, yeah, I was pretty stoked as soon as we started walking. It looks fun. No, what do you think would be some of the challenges for, for bike setup or for equipment? Just yeah, a little bit different. I, yeah, for sure. We'll see. Like, I think suspension might be a little different because the track actually doesn't look too fast in a lot of sections. So if you run your stuff too stiff, it's going to be hard to get it moving. So it might be a little bit of a balance trying to find your setup. Um, I feel like we're in a good spot to start, though. And then um, obviously keeping air in the tires and stuff. But I think that's more with kind of how you ride more than the equipment itself. So you just got to try to pay attention and not slam into the big stuff. And, uh, at first glance, the track looks a little bit, in, in pictures, like it doesn't have many line choices, but are, are there quite a few options? It seems like it, yeah. We'll see when we start riding it, but um, I was pretty happy with like different lines and stuff were out there. All so right. yeah, hopefully it, it shapes up to be a track with a lot of options. All right, stoked for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is it as flat and easy as the uh, all the punters on the, the forum say it is? Yeah, I reckon uh, most of the guys on the forums could probably ride it pretty well. They might get down the start ramp, maybe over the first jump, but it gets pretty hectic after that and it's hectic the whole way to the finish. Is it a lot steeper than it looks? Yeah, steep, it's rough, there's heaps of lines, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot going on. It's all action and no traction. <laughs> and there's some gnarly like uh, gaps, gnarly, it's just nah. Yeah, it actually is. Is there, is there anywhere to, is it let up at all? Is it just about two and a half minutes? Of... Nowhere. Normally, like, sometimes you, like, finish a gnarly section on a track and you're like, oh, I'm glad I got through that. But here, there's going to be uh, none of that. You're just going to be into the next gnarly section. And then probably the easiest part of the track is the start, three jumps, and then even the finish, like, what well, looks pretty straightforward, but it's just bombing the street section. And that's, like... You know, you're going to be like inches off the wall at full click, so it's going to be scary, but it's going to be fun. And as far as uh, bike setup goes, what, what do you, what's going to be key? Suspension or uh, wheels and tires, you reckon? I mean, like, if you get your bike feeling good, it's going to be hard to get your bike feeling good the whole way down the track, because it's like, some of the stuff's like chatter, and then some of the stuff's big wallowy compressions and like sharp rocks. I think the biggest thing is just being able to like ride your lines like smooth and fast because uh, if you mess up one it's going to dictate you'll probably mess up your next three lines because you've got to you've really got to nail them all in consecution consecutive one after the other to be able to uh, get down in like a clean run and that'll be the hardest thing so I think yeah, everyone's worried like it's going to suck because like a lot of guys are going to get flats but uh I think the best guy, the best bike rider is going to win at this race. Where's Sam Hill, eh? Yeah, right. <laughs> He's busy taking everyone to school in the mud, does Yeah, week. Yeah, it reminds, like, the whole, the track reminds me, like, there's a, like, clip of him in, like, Vigo in one of the Earth videos where he bends his crank heat tron. Oh, it, yeah, gets, it, gets fourth or something. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, he's, like, doing a gap and bending his crank every run, and it's like that the whole way down this track. Yeah, I mean, we just finished track walk. It's awesome. I love being at a new venue. It's a beautiful venue, and the track is really unique to anything else we ride, and it's going to be a challenge for bike setup and riding position and line choice and things like that, so it's really refreshing. It sort of looks at first glance like it's almost a one-line track, but it, it's not. There are a lot of options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a, a lot of options, and they're just really fine lines. And it's also a different, depending on the style of terrain, is what kind of line you need to choose and what you're trying to achieve by the line choice. So it's going to be a really interesting one to figure out. What do you think is going to be challenging about bike setup? Uh, just, it's so rough, and you want it to be super sensitive on all the all that rough stuff, but also there's like some really big compressions couple of seconds of super high speed and then you've got a sprint jump section at the top and a sprint street section at the bottom so it's really just going to be able to find that balance and I think it's going to be different to what people expect. So you're going to post some new challenges on equipment but more so than, than you're used to on some of the faster tracks with all the rocks? Yeah it's 
just the how to use our equipment is going to be because it's different like every other track even though it looks different it's like similar speed similar kind of terrain similar setup you don't generally change up too much and we might not change too much up here it's just understanding what we're trying to achieve with it and working well with this track all right yeah. stoked to see you guys out there tomorrow yeah. thanks man can't wait luca first impressions of the track it looks cool uh it's it's really tough i kind of struggle to walk the track before i've ridden it anyways and here it seems really kind of hard to tell like how much speed you're going to be carrying everywhere but um i was happy to see that there's quite a few lines in a few spit at least it looks like it for the moment like some line choice and um some cool features and jumps up top and then pretty rad little street section at the bottom so yeah i'm looking forward to it i think it'll be uh something different and unique so try you, and learn it what uh what do you think is gonna be the biggest challenge as far as bike setup goes given just um, the, the, the the terrain up there is a little different than some of the other world cup tracks you yeah, guys have a baseline for, sure. for yeah for sure it doesn't look very steep so i think setup might be a little bit different and then just rocks everywhere so um keeping air in the tires i'm sure is going to be the the goal for a uh, bike setup really so we'll see I, I think it it's hard to say when you walk it, it looks really horrible but we'll see once you ride it maybe it smooths out a little bit at speed so we'll see but yeah looking forward to it intense boys how was the first impressions of the track jack you laid it off oh yeah just <laughs> get some of your hair um yeah, it was pretty sick, eh? Hey? I think it was like a bit better than everyone was like giving it on internet, so it looks pretty tacky and gonna be interesting racing. There's a few different line choices and it's like I think it'll be really hard to put a full run together. And yeah, yeah. pretty physical for how short it is. So you've been hitting the gym all winter, huh? Yeah, we've been flexing hard. Nah, it's looking good out there. It's like a lot of hit, like cheeky little gaps you'll be doing and I think there's a few like kind of inside outside you could like muck around with but no, I reckon it's going to be pretty sick, it's going to be cool. But uh, the challenges for bike setup, it's a little bit different yeah, than some of the World Cup tracks you guys have had yeah. recently. I mean, I don't think I'm going to change too much. I was thinking of even chopping me bars down a bit because there's a few sketchy tight sections and the bloody, you're going to be hooking through two cheese gators at the bottom about, <laughs> probably, what do we run, 800 bars and yeah. it's probably about 850 I reckon. Yeah. Between, the, between the buildings down there. Yeah, no, nah, the rock wall is like... Yeah down the bottom it's like real narrow i think you're gonna be going like 60k and yeah i don't know we'll see after the first run but it just looks sketchy so i'm no i'm not an urban guy so i haven't had any experience with it you know <laughs> carrying good speed through them and i think that's gonna be the main key there's a lot yeah. of tight stuff where like you're gonna come to a stop almost so like setting up for that kind of stuff will be key yeah uh, line choice is important but i think if you get bucked off line just keep going because <laughs> i think it'll happen to a few people tane first First impressions of the track. Good vibe, is that ah, it's loose, fast, awkward, and I think those are my three words. <laughs> <laughs> you use more than three words. I don't think I have any more to describe. <laughs> no, it looks cool. It looks good fun, and there are some hard features, which is nice. It's all new to me, so I like getting into a race and not having done anything because it's, it's exciting. Is it a little bit different than, than some of the tracks you guys are used to racing? Yeah, way different. It's like. A layer of like little gravel and lots of rocks which i've kind of got used to now living in wales so that's all right but real awkward ones real sharp ones so i'll have to see how that goes any particular challenges for bike setup or are you going to just uh, stick with what you have and, and see how it feels tomorrow i don't think so i think yeah we just have to see how it goes have a run or two and then uh, go from there but i think generally my bike my bike feels pretty good so yeah don't see. all right all right win tv I'm here. Getting ready for uh, another season. I see you've got your Kush core. Your Kush core, how, yeah, microphone. how appropriate for this track. Well, that's what it? you're going to need this weekend. Kush core. Just a Kush You need some air too. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah uh, what are your first impressions of the track? Uh, well, it looks like quite pinpoint. You have to hit everything pretty spot on. So maybe a few runs to get into. But um, I think it's going to be a challenge. And that's, that's a good thing. So... A little bit different than some of the tracks you guys have been racing on the and last few years. Yeah. Changing terrain. Pretty tricky, I think. A lot of uh, nasty rocks and uh, they're just going to keep coming out of the ground, I think. So it's going to be rough. Yeah. All right. What, uh, do you have any strategy for for bike setup or? Just running what I bring, eh? Running and, uh, what you bring. Yeah, I've been riding it. It's been feeling good. So try and uh, get it running good. And, uh, 
kind of ease into it, I think. Not not really in a rush to send all these gaps. Yeah. Alright. Watch other people do them first and hopefully not die.